Welcome to BARD's Breathe Easy Service Training. My name is Rick Downey. Today, we're going to review Balance Climate, a BARD exclusive. We'll take a look at an overview of the features, benefits, and sequence of operation, application of Balance Climate to single stage air conditioning and ventilation setup for single stage units. BARD units are equipped with the capability of running in balanced climate mode as they are re-engineered to the 2019 Department of Energy standards. The remaining two-stage units already above the standard will have this feature added over the next 12 months as they are upgraded to the new cabinet style. Balanced climate is designed to increase the comfort level by reducing the indoor humidity. Extended runtime with reduced airflow allows the unit to extract more humidity during cooling operation. Balanced climate provides quieter operation, up to 35% less humidity in the space, and this depends on the model and the conditions. It provides softer starts and increased comfort level. Balanced climate is a great process for schools, modular buildings, equipment shelters, public areas, pharmaceutical and agricultural applications as well. Balanced climate mode can be used anywhere reduced humidity and sound levels with increased comfort would be a benefit. All units are shipped set up to run in standard mode just the way barred units have been in the past. To engage balanced climate mode, simply remove the brass jumper as seen on the right between Y1 and Y2 and install a two-stage thermostat. This applies to single stage applications where the lowest set point is 72 degrees and no vent package is installed. Applications requiring a lower set point than 72 degrees may cause icing on the evaporator. Y1 will automatically bring the air conditioner on in balanced climate mode and extract the maximum amount of moisture while cooling the space. If the temperature continues to rise, Stage 2 on the thermostat, Y2, will gently shift the wall mount to standard full load cooling with the rated airflow. At the top left, the 3 ton unit, you can see 958067 conditions produced a 24% increase in latent cooling or moisture removal. At the bottom left, 957562 conditions balanced climate mode latent cooling increased by 52%. For more balanced climate data, please see the model specification sheet. You should be aware that balanced climate mode will not be suitable for every application and is not intended to be a replacement for dehumidification unit or hot gas reheat for climates with consistent high humidity that normally require units with full dehumidification features. However, balanced climate mode will consistently deliver all of its benefits and provide more comfortable surroundings even in these extreme climates while working in conjunction with a dehumidification unit. Also, on applications where the sensible BTUs are very close to your required BTUs, enabling balanced climate may not be the right decision. Remember, we convert some sensible BTUs to latent BTUs for dehumidification purposes. Units with a factory installed economizer will not have the brass jumper installed. Refer to the vent manuals for instructions on how balanced climate works with each vent. There is a jumper located in the economizer to disconnect. Refer to the manual for detailed instructions. If the application is likely to require air conditioning operation below 60 degrees outdoor conditions or is installed with any ventilation package, a barred low ambient control kit must be installed. The low ambient control kit is equipped with an additional sensor that disables balanced climate mode when the outdoor temperature drops below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This prevents potential evaporator coil freeze up issues. Because part of balanced climate depends on lower airflow, attention needs to be directed toward the system static pressure when balanced climate mode is engaged. The system static pressure needs to be verified below 2 tenths of an inch water column. For ductless applications with the correct registers and grills, there won't be a problem. However, some ducted systems will not be a good candidate for balanced climate. 
Here we're looking at a single stage systems with no vent package. To operate a single stage unit in balanced climate mode, a two stage cooling thermostat is required. The lower indoor airflow operation is overridden by using that two stage stat. If the call for cooling is not satisfied within a given time frame or temperature differential as specified by the thermostat, the thermostat will send a signal to Y2 which then increases the blower speed back to the rated speed, creating more sensible BTUs and removing less humidity. See unit installation instructions for more blower speed selection options. With a vent package, setup will vary depending on the type of ventilation package selected. For complete instructions, please review the instructions shipped with the vent or unit if the vent is factory installed. The following slides are an overview. The available vent options are barometric with exhaust and without exhaust and there's no additional setup for these. The M vent option is a commercial ventilator with a simple on and off. The V is for variable on a commercial ventilator. D is for a DDC economizer with a 0 to 10 volt motor and no controls. S, Y, and Z are economizers utilizing the jade control. And the R package is for an ERV. Slide 1 of 2. For an M package, which is a partial flow commercial ventilator with a simple on and off. Units ordered with this option or field installed vent kit are shipped with a jumper from Y1 to Y2 installed. Removing this jumper activates balanced climate mode. Because both balanced climate and space ventilation depend on a single source blower, there are variations to consider. First, stage one cooling with a call for ventilation moves the fan speed to the balanced climate and opens the ventilator. To achieve your specified CFMs for ventilation, you'll need to increase your settings and adjust for the balanced climate airflow. You'll be slightly over your specified CFMs if the temperature increases and Y2 is energized, causing the fan speed to increase. However, this will meet your required CFM and deliver superb comfort. Blade adjustment for desired ventilation air. Remember on all the vent packages, the amount of ventilation air is dependent on four factors. Return air duct static pressure, supply air duct static pressure, indoor blower motor speed, and the damper blade open position. So in all cases, BARD recommends an air balance. In lieu of an air balance, we give you some suggested settings that should get you very close to what you're looking for. Refer to the appropriate graph in the manual and be sure to compensate for the balanced climate mode fan speed. For the V package, which is a commercial ventilator with a variable blade operation, when engaging balanced climate with the modulating vent package, follow the instructions included with the vent. During setup, the blade will need to be adjusted to a setting between 25 and 30 percent more air than required for ventilation to overcome the balanced climate fan speed and meet the ventilation requirements. However, when the speed is increased on a Y2 second stage cooling call, you will be slightly over ventilating. The code will be met and comfort for all. If a CO2 controller is used, the damper will automatically adjust for the correct number of occupants based on CO2 and fan speed. This is a recommended setup method. When engaging balanced climate with the DDC economizer, the blade will need to be adjusted similar to the prior vent package. This is between 25 and 30 percent more air than required for ventilation to overcome the balanced climate fan speed and meet ventilation requirements. However, when the speed is increased on a Y2 second stage cooling call, you will only be slightly over ventilating. The code will be met and comfort for all. As long as you have the outputs available on your building system, you could change the blade location to correspond with the fan speed. If a CO2 controller is used, the damper will automatically adjust for the correct number of occupants based on CO2 and fan speed. This is the recommended setup method. For the S, Y, and Z 
Jade controlled economizers, a two-stage thermostat is required to utilize balanced climate. If you have a cooling call and no economizer is available due to outdoor conditions, why one energizes cooling and balanced climate simultaneously? If temperatures continue to rise, why two will increase the fan speed to the rated airflow and produce more sensible BTUs? When the cooling call is satisfied, the mechanical cooling shuts down and the economizer moves to min position. The fan continues until the occupied call ends or another cooling call is initiated. Here we have a cooling call with the economizer available. So in economizer only operation, the fan operates at rated speed. The mixed air temperature sensor maintains discharge air preset temperature. If the temperature increases and more cooling is required, Y1 out and balanced climate are energized simultaneously. So if balanced climate mode is utilized, you'll need to increase your minimum position setting by 25 to 30 percent above rated setup to compensate for the lower fan speed. If the temperature continues to rise and more cooling is needed, Balanced climate mode will drop out, economizing will continue, and the fan will operate at rated speed along with mechanical cooling, providing the maximum amount of cooling. When cooling call is satisfied, the economizer will return to min position with rated airflow. When balanced climate is engaged with the energy recovery ventilation package, there are no airflow adjustments required. Since the ERV and indoor blowers are independent of each other, the airflow of one does not affect the other. Balanced climate can be set up using a two-stage thermostat. The ERV and balanced climate will work together, capturing all the benefits of economy and comfort. Let's review this system. BARD's balanced climate mode will fit many applications. All applications require attention to airflow. We must have less than two tenths of an inch of water column on the static pressure. The static pressure listed is system static and that's combined supply and return numbers. 72 degrees is the lowest allowable cooling set point in balanced climate mode. If application requires cooling with the outdoor air temperature below 60 and or a vent kit is installed, a low ambient control kit must be installed on the unit. A two-stage thermostat is required to activate balanced climate mode. For occupied spaces, balanced climate mode will provide a comfort upgrade. For equipment or agriculture, balanced climate mode will add some humidity control and help reduce short cycling at times of low load. Thank you for checking out our balanced climate video and thank you for choosing bar.